First off, we're going to start with a piece of thick Whisper White cardstock, and this piece here measures 21 by 15 centimeters. I'm just going to fold this in half to create my card base. I find using a bone folder very easy just to make sure that nice crisp fold at the top of the card base there. So next we're going to actually stamp our greeting on top of our, um, our card base here. And so I'm using this stamp set here that's called the Fabulous Four. Um, it's one, one of my favourite greeting stamp sets and I'm using the bottom one that says thanks very much. So I've gone ahead of time and I've already stamped this image onto my imaging sheet. Um, And I'm inking this up using my Watermelon Wonder Classic Ink and stamping that onto the front of my card base. Once that's done, you can actually set your card aside. Um, and the next we're going to need is a piece of scrap Whisper White cardstock. And um, our next stamps that we're going to use is from the flower shop. And we got this flower image here that I've already previously stamped to my clear mount block. And I'm inking this up here using Delightful Dijon. And I want to stamp this four times onto our scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. So next I've got here is a piece of Cucumber Crush cardstock. You just need a scrap piece. And I've got my another image here from the same stamp set of Flower Shop. I've just mounted that to my clear block. And next we're going to actually ink this up using our Cucumber Crush Classic Ink. And this time we're only going to stamp it down twice. So next you want to do is you want to punch out all of those um, flowers that you've just stamped. And this punch here is the Fun Flower Stamp Set. It's a coordinating punch that goes with the Flower Shop Stamp Set. Um, the one thing I do find is that you need to be careful as to which way you do stamp it. Um, otherwise, you may it may be a bit difficult to punch out. So what I've done is I've gone and cut around it so I can actually swivel my image around in my punch here to um, line it up to make sure I can get the right cleanest cut as possible. So I think I've kind of found that right now. So I'm just going to hold that down and just check that and punch that out when I'm happy with the, the, um, the results there. So we're going to continue and we're going to punch out all six of our little flowers that we've got. And then once that's done, we can set those flowers aside. So I'm just going to clean up some of my scraps here and move them out of the way. And I'm bringing back in my card base here. Um, and I've got a piece here of um, our Whisper White Baker's Twine. And I've just put that in between the um, two pieces of cardstock there into the center of the card. And this piece here measures approximately 80 centimeters. And I'm just going to fold this across underneath my greeny. And I'm going to fold it, tie this into a bow. So I want this to be over towards the right hand side of my word. So I'm just going to slowly swivel this across to the space that I'm happy with and tie that into a bow. When you're happy with your bow there, just get a piece of paper snips and just trim off the ends there. Next we're going to stick our flowers down. So I'm going to put one cucumber crush on the side here. Uh, I'm just going to check to see how I kind of want this to lay out here. So I'm kind of just placing them just to have a look and see how I want it to look. So I'm sticking this down using some fast fuse adhesive. You can use snail if you wish or even some um, liquid glue. So I'm just going to stick this down first. Down to the right, bottom right hand side, just under my greeting. And 
And my last flower here that I've got, I'm going to st stick this down using one Stampin' Dimensional just to add a bit of dimension to my project. So we're going to do the opposite on the other side now. So we're going to put our green flower. It's going to be at the top left hand side. And my last flower, once again, I'm going to add that with the Stampin' Dimensional. So I'm just going to add some bling because no card is great. No card, every card needs a bit of bling, I believe. But this is optional, this part. So I'm just going to add a couple of rhinestones um, to my project here. And there you have it. There's our project finished. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss a project. Thank you for watching.